To calibrate a GEA A15 control top, remove the control top cap with a Phillips screwdriver. To activate the calibration and configuration buttons, disconnect and then reconnect power. The buttons will lock after 30 seconds. Once power has been reconnected, press and hold the two buttons simultaneously for three to five seconds until you see a solid red LED. This activates the calibration and the valve will cycle through each of its positions. For valves with an external proximity switch, calibration will fail if the switch is not properly adjusted. Failed calibration is indicated by a flashing red LED. In this example, the proximity switch was not adjusted properly to detect the high seat lift position. After this has been corrected, calibration can then be repeated. Remove and then reconnect power to the control top. Press and hold the two buttons simultaneously until a solid red LED is seen. The valve will then cycle through its positions once again. You can see the external proximity switch light turns off as it detects the valve opening and the high seat lift position. Once a successful calibration has been performed, the control top can then be configured. Three parameters, tolerance, signal damping, and left function, can be set with four options per parameter. To change a parameter to a different option, press the plus button or the left hand button in this orientation. Continue to scroll through the different options by pressing the left button until you reach the correct setting per your application as indicated by the flashing LED light pattern. Press the right hand button to accept the option and move to the next setting. Continue to either change or accept the different settings until you have fully calibrated the control top. For a list of parameters and settings, see the link below for a comprehensive chart.